Kate's needs. Maybe she's got yarn. Uh, this is my morning. I slept in my makeup. I always sleep in my makeup. It's okay. I do wash my face every day. <laughs> Just, I always put makeup on for my videos. I know I don't have to do that. Hold on a second. I think I got my iPad upside down. I think that's better. So, we're in the kitchen. So, I'm cooking some rice and ro rice and runny, some rice, and I'm making some egg rolls. They're frozen egg rolls. I'm just heating them up. And some green beans I'm gonna pour in the rice. So, I've already heated them up. Cheers. Yeah, they're canned green beans. But I'm, I'm hungry. I've been spoiled all week. We ate out at restaurants and yeah. It's actually, it's late, it's not morning. But I've been working on, well, I woke up late. I uh, fell asleep in the middle of editing my video. I wanna apologize. I did a video, it was an hour and 14 minutes long. So I tried to upload it. Well, it told me it was gonna upload in 17 hours. So I had to go back and kind of like make a shorter video. But there was a lot on the video I wanted to share. So I figured I would just delete that. So the, the long video. So anyways, I made a 45 minute video and it said it was gonna upload in eight hours. I'm like, okay, my internet's not behaving tonight. So, and also I've got an appointment with T-Mobile working on my booster because my booster hasn't been working right for my phone. So nothing new, it's always something. But anyways, this morning I woke up well, this morning, it was probably 11, 12 o'clock, I woke up and both videos uploaded. Well, no, I woke up in the middle of the night, one video, or early morning, one video uploaded. So I go, went ahead and released it. And then I noticed the second video uploaded later on. And I'm like, wait, it uploaded? I wanna share it. So what I did was I started to take it down and I was like, no, because people commented on it. So if you wanna watch a longer video and don't mind repeats in the beginning you can watch an hour and 15 minute video if you're really bored and want to watch me i did an up it's kind of like an updated version of it so you you'll see it i marked slash slash unedited is what i wrote on the title so yeah there's no rules in youtube so i just did what i wanted to do and i <laughs> i have two of the same videos but one is I, ed I cut it in half and now I, I didn't think I was able to upload the full video. So you guys can watch it or you don't, you won't hurt my feelings, but I wanted to share some stuff with you guys that I was not able to share on the first video. Have I confused you guys yet? <laughs> oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes, has it? Time flies when you're having fun. I'll give them a few more minutes. I'm going to pour in my green beans. So I'll get some vegetables. I don't think I've had any vegetables all week. All week I ate potatoes and steak and all the stuff I shouldn't have eaten. You know, I had salad. So that's good for you. But yeah, you know how it is when you're on vacation. You eat whatever. Sounds good. And, but anyway, so I got that, that last night I fell asleep working on this hat. I'm almost done. I haven't gotten a lot of crocheting done today because I've been looking for things. <laughs> I went on vacation, I put stuff in bags and I'm finding stuff, but I lost the bottom to my, I have this stand, I've had it forever. I've got a couple of them, but this one's like a really good one. It's heavy duty, it's sturdy. Well, I unscrewed the bottom to put it in my suitcase, but it wasn't in my suitcase. What on earth did I do with it? Who knows, I can't find it. So I've got one of these that I've got it on now. The problem is this, the thing, sometimes they get weak and they, they, they start to look down. The other one has that plastic heart and it's hard to bend it. I like that one. For, for doing videos, but I have backup. So, 
but I'm just, am I doing, am I doing this right? I'm do, I gotta be doing, I just have like one or two more rows to do on this hat and I'll be done. And I got my ponytail in so I can share it with you guys. And then I wanna do a little TikTok baby video. I wanna, I wanna change my clothes. I'm kind of like dressed like it's cold out and it's actually nice out. I just have it, I had the air down to 61 in my room, so that's why I sleep so good. Because I do sleep in that chair quite a bit. Yep, and I'm not sure if Charm Grammy's home yet. She said hey to me in one of my, in, in a comment, but I don't know if she's home. I need to look at my cell phone, wherever that is. God only knows where that is. Let me check on this. Oh, it looks so good. I wish I had my like, shredded chicken. You know what? I do like those egg rolls, but I have Kentucky Fried Chicken in my refrigerator. I could probably pick the chicken off the bone, maybe. I don't know what's left. Yeah, there's a bunch. So. <laughs> We're going to get our fingers greasy. Mm. I don't want to dirty any dishes. If I don't have to. So, I'm going to pick it off the bone while it's cold. Put it in this rice, but I'm going to take all the breading off of it that I can. I know a lot of people think the breading is the best part. It probably is. But you guys smell the chicken, don't you? Boy, they can smell chicken a mile away. They love chicken. All dogs love chicken. So, what goes on? I'm burning it. These are the egg rolls. They're pretty yummy. Okay. That was going to be the main meal, but now I'm going to put another plate. Put the meat on because I'm going to heat it in the microwave. But yeah, Kentucky Fried Chicken is good chicken. It's not what it used to be though. It, it doesn't remind me of what it was like when I was a kid. I don't, all these fast food restaurants, they don't, nothing's like it used to be. And no use in complaining anymore because who's listening, right? It doesn't matter. What? Oh, I gotta turn the oven off. Okay, okay. Good. And I'll be able to chop this up a little better once it's hot. Boy. Lynette's probably going, you're done, you're taking off the best part. But I don't think it would be good with the rice, all that breading. I'm just going to take the meat off the bone. My husband won't eat this. He, won't, he doesn't like to eat leftovers. He will, but he doesn't like to. I guess everybody likes thighs because there's a bunch of legs left over. My husband's favorite is leg. I like thighs. I also like, like the white meat, but... You gotta get it right when it's cooked, or it's like, it's too dry. You guys can't see this. Can you see him now? No. Oh, there they are. <laughs> you guys don't have to see my head, but yeah, you see my pretty babies. Yes. 
You guys are begging, huh? They were hoping I'll drop something on the floor. And I do that a lot. <laughs> drop things. We got a bunch more. Okay. My fingers are dirty. Oh. Okay. So, anyways, what was I telling you? So, I'm almost done with that. So. I'll share that with you on this video, the hat. And then I should have been done with it last night, but I'm all over the place and you guys know that. And I was trying to get a video out, trying to get back to the norm. And you know when you're leaving a place and you're on vacation, well me, I bring everything but the kitchen sink. And I threw some stuff I had a hard time finding some stuff. Like I haven't found the base to that. And I'm hoping I find it, but I have not been able to. Which stinks if I can't find it. It's gonna stink. Because I'm gonna buy another one. Because these other ones they work, but they don't. So okay, now let me rinse. Let me rinse my hands. Some hot water going on here. It takes forever to get hot water to this kitchen sink. You would think it's, I tell you what, I don't think we'll ever build another house, but if we do, we're going to get those things that turns the water hot instantly. Ooh. I think that would be awesome. I don't know. It's still not hot. I got the grease off my hands. Okay, let's turn you back this way. <laughs> I made a mess. This is all the breading. No, I'm not dropping it. Let me get a rag. Kitchen rags. It's somebody, it's a customer probably. He went outside. Or maybe not. I'm recording. Okay, he took it off speaker. Sorry about that. Or maybe I'll erase it. He never talks on speaker. You guys want to hear something funny? There's a restaurant called, hang on, I want to get my phone. Okay, okay, so about, I don't know, a couple hours ago, I was watching a video. Um, the channel is Passionate Kelsey. <gasps> Quiet. 
But anyway, she was talking about she went to lunch with her grandmother at Chatters. And I'm thinking, hmm, we don't have a Chatters. I've never heard of a Chatters. And the next thing I know, I get a message on my phone. My phone, it was to my text to my phone. I clicked on it and it's the restaurant Cheddar's. Tell me they're not listening, okay? We don't have a Cheddar's around here, but they heard it on the TV. I know they were listening. They listen in, they have to be. I don't even have a Get back to what I was saying is they're listening. I, I guarantee you that is like pretty, because we don't have, I was on my, um, I was watching a channel and they're talking about going to lunch with her grandmother at Cheddar's. And I was like, we don't have a Cheddar's. I've never heard of a Cheddar's. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about somebody on YouTube. Okay. Do we know? Do you know? No, but okay. I know them on YouTube. But yeah. anyway, she was talking about going to lunch with her grandmother at Cheddar's. Five minute, not even five minutes later, this text comes up on my phone about Cheddar's. We don't even have a Cheddar's here. Isn't that crazy? I'm just saying, they're listening out there. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Hang on, I gotta chop up some stuff. That doesn't look too bad. Kentucky Fried Chicken, green beans, and rice and Okay, rice. I'm gonna eat lunch. That looks good. And I'm gonna watch Jennifer, or Jen, Cinnamon Stitches while I eat my lunch. I have to catch up. I watched today's video, but I think I missed yesterday's video because I had company. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, I'm back. Archie's getting leftovers. He's actually lost a bunch of weight. I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> but it's good on his hip. It helps his hip. Because you guys have seen him, his gait. He struggles. He struggles to walk. So, anyways. Lunch slash early dinner was good. It was Kentucky Fried Chicken leftovers. The chicken was good. I peeled all the skin off of it. 90% of it. And um, and then we had rice aroni. I used to fix that for my kids all the time. Like cook pork chops and then fix rice aroni in a vegetable. You know, single mom, quick dinner. And you know, when you have a long day at work, because when I was a single mom, I used to live 45 minutes one way to work. So I used to have to drive home, stop at this, well, I would stop at the sitters, go to the ball field. We had cheerleading practice. We had football practice. We had some, excuse me, some kind of practice. And I was, I had to hang out there because I lived so, so far. So, um, so we'd be there for an hour or more. And then we get home and be just about dark, you know, I guess depending on what time of the year, but I would fix quick dinners. And sometimes my kids make fun of me of the dinners that I like, they won't eat anything that I ever cooked because I guess I ruined them. I don't know. I was, you know, a struggling single mom. And in my eyes, I wasn't struggling. I just bought what I could afford. It wasn't really struggling. It was my life and it was very normal to me and like I made I used to make you guys might laugh at me but my meals were worse at my mom's <laughs> growing up because my mom was in college and my dad he started the Greyhound farm it was struggling so he ended up getting a second job driving a semi a truck so he was gone all the time and me and my mom we worked out in the kennels, but we, my mom worked at the Jiffy store to pay for her to go through nursing school. And so we ate a lot of TV dinners, you know, so it gets a little better each generation, I guess. But, um, I did have sirloin steak once a week. It was scrawny looking, but we did have them and we had ribs every week and spaghetti. My spaghetti's not too terribly bad. Um, cause I used, you know, sauce. I didn't just buy ravioli. Um, and the great thing, my uncle Greg, Aunt Jan, she could cook on the weekends. She always fixed something awesome. That woman could cook. She is a Paula, Paula Dean in the kitchen and she has her white hair. <laughs> She's just a lot younger, but, but yeah, what is it? I used to make kielbasa, kielbasa 
and then I'd make like baked macaroni and cheese with it, but I cook it with onions. Oh, it's so good. I still like it. Kielbasa is not bad. Um, and I made a, a cheese sauce, you know, melting butter and flour and melting cheese. Usually it was Velveeta, but yeah. And we always had ham and, you know, for lunch. I used to buy these big chunks of ham at Winn-Dixie. And I know the butcher probably ran when he saw me, but I'd have him slice it real thin. It lasts forever. I'd freeze half of it. You do what you have to do to survive back in those days. But sometimes we had ravioli. Okay. Me personally, I won't touch ravioli anymore, but my kids definitely won't. And also another meal I cooked was hamburger helper. Tiffany hates it. I still eat it periodically. And I made a lot of beanies and weenies. I still like, but my mom, when I lived at home, we used to have hot dogs in the oven. You'd slice, put a slice down the middle of the hot dog and cram a piece of cheese in there. That was dinner with whatever, tater tots, or we'd have fish sticks. We don't have fish. I don't think I made any fish sticks. I might've, I can't remember. Oh, it's getting warm in here. I need to really change my clothes. I'm not being lazy. I'm being lazy. So anyways, I am, I think I'm, it's the last round, I think. No, it's not the last round. I got one more round, hopefully, one more round, if it's long enough. But hopefully I'll, look at Maverick. That was my plate. Who ate your food, huh? And just let them in the room. They inhale their food. They all just got finished eating. He's gonna shred that plate. Where are you going with that? He's gonna shred. He's my paper shredder. Yeah. It's probably my fault he did what he did this week. No, it's not. He's never chewed up my. He's never. The only time he's gone into my cart, sometimes I'll have a bag of chips and they'll steal the bag of chips. That's about it. But yeah, they're getting, they're acting like puppies when I'm gone. So, I know it's not, I know who it is. It's Maverick and Zeus. I caught him today trying to pull my Lay's potato chips. I got a bag of Lay's potato chips in my cart. Y'all, I can't help it. I know I'm not supposed to eat that stuff. And I don't eat it all the time. I did while I was on vacation. All right, so, so we're going to chain one. Are we supposed to turn? Mm, I don't know, but I'm gonna, no, it's a half double crochet. So I'm gonna chain one and what I'm gonna do is I'm supposed to go in the top of this stitch and catch that third stitch and do a half double crochet, which you want, huh? He's talking to me. I'm trying to fix this. What you want? Huh? Am I talking to this? He he is jealous of a, of an iPad. Hey, Jeezy. So did I do it? Um, okay, so yeah. To give it a little texture change up the look a little bit we're gonna go in the top of that half double crochet and and out underneath the third stitch and it gives it a little little, little detail there I hope it fits it's starting to, it looked too big earlier and now it's starting to look a little small <laughs> Hopefully it'll it'll stretch like the other the purple hat that I have on my little mannequin over there. My no name mannequin. My poor mannequins don't have names. I always ask and then I forget to follow up on what names. Everybody's surrounding me. This container right here I got I need that container for my squares so I need to take this yarn and put it back in 
the green room closet with the rest of those yarns. I was gonna make something with it and I didn't I didn't use it, but I got a few of those baskets. I actually got a bunch of those baskets. One day I'm gonna tear into all of these buffalo containers with yarn and put the yarns where they belong. Most of them don't belong in there. It's 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 easy to make a basket and throw whatever's in there, you know, to clean up. And I'm one of those that has not one junk room, junk drawer in the kitchen, but I have two large junk drawers. My husband actually cleaned out both of them recently. I have no clue what he threw away, but I know he threw away a bunch of stuff. But yeah, when I'm cleaning the kitchen, you know, if I don't know what to do with something, it goes in that junk drawer. It's usually pens, a ton of pens, and pads of paper, and pictures sometimes that fall off the refrigerator. I used to change up pictures on my refrigerator all the time, back before we had digital cameras or iPhones with cameras, but I would have pictures printed and then I would, I would uh, glue magnets on the back and change them up on the refrigerator. I still have a bunch of old ones. And I enjoy the old ones, actually. I gotta turn the air on, I'm sweating. They're much right here. I'll turn you down. I turn, what did I turn up? My husband wants me to turn it off when that door's open because he says it kicks on the heater in the main house. The main house is freezing, I guess. I don't know. Nothing's freezing right now to me. There. Oh, it's blowing right on me. So, yeah, sorry about last night's video. It's kind of weird, but this one, I'm going to get done early. I'm going to get her done before 8 o'clock. Well, I started yesterday's video kind of early. I just it would not upload. My internet was acting up. And I hope it didn't have anything to do with Tyler was helping me try to set up something, you know, a booster for my iPhone to get it working because it's not working right. The story of my life. I only got it in one lid. I got to get it in both the front and the back. And that third back loop. But yeah, I was telling you earlier, I was watching Passionate. It's K N I T, Passionate with Kelsey. But um, she has a, her crochet is. Um, She's a crochet business. She sells a lot of those cute um, halter tops, bathing suit tops. And um, she's been crocheting since she was like 18, no, 10 years old. But when she was 18, she had so many requests and people buying tops from her. She opened her own little crochet business. And after a while, she quit her real job because she was doing much better. And she was having to take days off to catch up on orders. So, um, but anyways, it's a really cool story. I like hearing success stories like that. And she's about 24 now, but I love to watch her crochet. She doesn't even look at her hands, but she says the reason she's so fast is she does the same patterns. What she sells is her patterns and she knows them like the back of her hand. So she doesn't really have to look, but she's really fast. She just like does this. It's, it's amazing. So, but anyways, let's let's try this on. Hold on. Hopefully, that I'm done. But we will see. Let's get the ponytail. Okay. I don't know if I told you guys, but this is Juan's hat. 
in this video, I don't know if I told you, but I think y'all know. Is that not stinking cute? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Okay, what's this peachy stuff going on? What do y'all think? Screenshot. Oh, we gotta get rid of that. Screenshot. <laughs> I love it. Look at all the beautiful stitches. You got the star stitch, half double crochet in the back loop, in the back and third loop. And you got the star stitch and then two double crochets, <clears throat> every other stitch. I think that's Jaxie's stitch. And then there's a bean stitch. I've never done that before, which I really like. And then some more of the same. And then Juan likes, you know, the pattern, this pattern here. He likes that. I, you can't really see it because I made the hat, I guess, too long. I don't know. I guess it's, it's fine. You, you can't see my eyebrows. But can you guys see it there? But Juan loves that, those back posts, the crown with the back posts. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful pattern. And he uses that a lot in his hat tutorials. I guess it's his trademark. <laughs> it isn't, but I'm just saying that. You know what I mean? So, but I wonder if he's going to make... Maybe I've got so much yarn left over, and I think I have another, can make like a scarf. I'd have to send it to somebody. Maybe I could give it away, but make a, a cool scarf with this pattern. Yeah, because I don't want to waste this yarn. This yarn is Hobie. It's this one's sister, so I think it's very pretty. And how the colors all, lined up. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. So it's a little big on me. The back of my head's flat. It's because my mother laid me on my back when I was a baby. So my head isn't well rounded. Yeah. If you have newborn babies, don't lay them on their back. Alternate them. I'm sure you know that now. Back then they didn't know any better. I laid in a, what do you call those little chairs that tilted and they were hard, you know? So when she went and hold me, she sat me in that. I was in that, so that gave me a flat head. And laying on my back gave me a flat head. And I didn't know I had a flat head until my best friend told me I had a flat head. And I asked my mom why I had a flat head. And she told me because she laid me on my back. <laughs> I had a flat head. I had big ears. I had reconstruction on my ears. I don't know if you all know this. Some of you do. But my ears aren't big anymore. I had total reconstruction on both of them when I was eight years old. But I had, you know, remember the monkey with the banana? Yeah, those are my ears <laughs> when I was little. And my mom got my ears fixed because I was mean when I was little. You talk about me without my ears, I'd beat you up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Especially the kid next door. I had a kid I played with. We, we had a love-hate relationship. His name was Diego, Diego Quinceno. He was Colombian. But he had big ears too, but we used to be, we used to pick on each other and he used to pick on me about my ears, but I got my ears fixed. <laughs> Actually, I haven't seen him since I was little, but I have touched and visited his brother Paco and it was a big family. His mother used to make my cheerleading uniforms. Yeah, I was a cheerleader once when I was little and this lady, Miss Quinsano, she could make anything. She made a lot of my clothes. My mom made a lot of my clothes, but we were really close with the family and then their father passed away and they had to move. And I don't know where they moved. You know, back in those days, nobody kept in touch. I was only probably eight when they moved away, but Paco somehow found my mother. My mother found him on Facebook and we met a date. And we Actually, he lives down in Crystal River, like, 20 minutes from my mother. So we went and visited with him and he's like a father, a grandfather. And um, he kind of 
at the time I went to visit his brother Diego, I asked him how Diego was and he was like, you know, I really don't want to talk about it. So I don't know what was going on, but um, a couple years ago I mentioned Diego and he's, he, um, he shared some photos on Facebook. They actually got together and he said hello to me. So that was good, you know, maybe one day I'll run into him. He's, he's probably an old man. Like, you know what I mean? He's, he's a couple years older than me, but still, you know, it's kind of cool to run into your old childhood love-hate friends. <laughs> we loved each other, but we also picked on each other. Yeah. <laughs> my mom said I used to, I used to um, talk in my sleep, and I would fight in my sleep. And Diego, I was always fighting Diego in my sleep. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. I think I, I don't know if I, I don't think I sleepwalk, but I, I did talk a lot, and my mom said I sweared a lot in my sleep at Diego when I was little. Trauma. Trauma. <laughs> okay, I'm peeling this baby off. One, thank you for the beautiful hat. And do you think mom, no, mom doesn't have a ponytail. I think I might send this to my girl, Jaxie. Yeah, because... Anita likes some of my stuff I make, but this isn't tight. It's kind of loose. So. Jaxie's got more hair. And she wears a ponytail. Yep. So, y'all, if you don't know who Jaxie is, it's Cre Creation by Jax. She's a Zoom sister. She's a very good friend. And I believe she's, a, she's also a mod for Juan, the Arn Addict. Y'all know Juan. Yeah, you better. <laughs> I need a piece of gum. Uh, empty. I have a lot of these empty laying around. It's terrible. Hold on. I want a piece of gum. So, let me get a pair of scissors and a darning needle. I have a darning needle here somewhere and I can't find it. Oh, here it is. It's a hot mess right here. I'm embarrassed to show you guys, but I want to show you some more stuff that I was working on. I was all over the place. Um, while I was on vacation, y'all, I love Charm, I love Lynette. This Charm Grammy crochet. One of the sweetest people in the world. And she might move to Florida. I'm so excited. I hope so. My husband hopes they move too. He was like taking them around. Well, I was with them, but right, we rode around one afternoon just looking at properties in my area. And Tim, my husband knows a lot of builders. And we know this one, they, they don't want like a brand new fancy house. They want a house they're retiring, so they, they're gonna be traveling, so they want a place to be able to land in the winter here in Florida. So, I mean, they, they're gonna have one camper. Well, they've got a camp spot up north, and then they want one here, but, you know, if they can find a, a small house that's not crazy expensive, you know, they want something. So my husband's gonna, he has a friend she buys a lot of abandoned places. It could be in a nice neighborhood, but a house abandoned and she'll buy them and fix them up or, I mean, or she'll tear them down and build a brand new house in the spot. But she also does real estate. So we're gonna check in with her. Sometimes she's, she has found some properties for friends in the past. It's been a long time. Right now the market is crazy. Yeah. You, some of these people up north have sold their homes. They come here and they can't afford to buy a house. They used to be able to retire and live nice. You know, they'd sell their houses up north for big money and buy a nice one for a reasonable price. Well, that is not heard of really right now. It's not real popular. So, all right, what am I going to do with this? Let's see if I can get it in the back at least. Oh, my stomach sounds like it's growling. It can't be growling. I just ate. Hmm. So, 
But anywho, I'm trying to be productive, trying to make my videos. I'm working hard to keep my videos going. I got lots of yarn to bag up. I got new yarn. I ordered, I don't know if I mentioned this in my video last night, ordered some bags from Timu. I ordered them by inches. They sent me centimeters. Yeah. So I got to send them all back. Except one bag. Um, they sent me the right one. I don't have them in front of me. But all these bags have to go back. I got to get a, a return slip. But let me show you. I'm so annoyed. These are the clouded Kimi bags. Like this bag here. This big bag here. I didn't order those. I didn't order those. I I clicked on inches. I paid attention and they sent centimeters. So I'm going to return them. And I guess Timu is not, they're not trying as hard to sell us anymore. They've got our business and now they're getting to become slackers. So I'm going to buy this. I'm going to rebuy these from Amazon. So, uh, But their return policy is still the same. But yeah, I bought some shirts from them. The same shirt, and it's two inches short, shorter. Same size, yeah. So, I'm not gonna buy from them as often, unless something I see I need, I don't know. Another thing besides these beautiful bunny rabbits that I made, they're pretty cute <laughs> for first time. Um, I bought some Juicy Couture Velvet Yarn. It was 40% off. Because otherwise, I never gave it the time of day. Because I'm like, we've got Big Twist, Twinkly, you know. I mean, we've got lots of velvet yarn. I've got velvet yarn in my room. It doesn't have sparkle. But, and it's, I don't know, it's a little bit different. But I got a lot of velvet yarn that I have bought from Brene. Brene, Brene. But since this is 40% off of, I think like, I don't know, $4.99. I can't remember, y'all. But um, I decided to make hair ties. So this pattern I got, it's not a pattern. It was a tutorial by, and I'm sure there's a pattern because she has a crochet business. I talked about her. It's Passion Knit with Kelsey. And she sells these, two for $5. So... I made two of them. I can't find the second one and I still have this much yarn left. But I um, went to Walmart and I bought, you can go to the Dollar Tree. And I just bought those black, you know, stretchy bands. And it's not the ones I wear. The ones I wear, I like these a lot better. They grab my hair better. This is what I wear. Now I, my last purple hat, I used this band. And probably should have with this hat. But I use the cheaper band. So in the future, I will use these in my hats. I have plenty. And I have different colors, which is nice. So, but look at how it looks. I wonder why it's drawn in like that. I don't know. I did have to do some decreases because my counts were off. My counts were off around here, so I had to do like four, I think like four or five decreases. I don't know how I got off. I just don't know how to count. But it, it, it turned out, I mean, it's a nice hat. I mean, you just gotta stick your ponytail out of it. I'm cooled off now. And you can do a bun out of it if you want to. But I love these hats that have I think they're cool. And this one's a little too big. I don't think I can turn it up. I don't think it would look right. No, it doesn't look right. It looks better like that. Yeah, so. Yeah, we got off the subject. I'm talking about my flat head. <laughs> and the story went on. <laughs> yep. But. So, I'm thinking about making a scarf with that. 
this is a brand new skein. I used, I don't think I used a whole skein for the last hat I made. Do you want to recap on the last hat? It's so pretty. If I could grab it without knocking everything else down. Yeah, this one, you know what I did? I twisted it. It was this one, and I twisted it like this, which I think looks better. So that's what I did not do in this hat. See, it's a lot bigger. The hole's a lot bigger. So, but I'm not starting over. <laughs> so, remember what I did if you guys want to do this. And if you like the hat, there's several tutorials on different hats for, for every week. But this one I love. This is my favorite so far. You want to see it on my head? I did a, a TikTok with this one. And it and it actually made it out there in the streets of TikTok and got a lot of views. But isn't that pretty? This one turned out really nice. And it's because I didn't do the hole. I didn't do the, the rubber band the same. So, yeah, interesting. So, but yeah. So, its home is right here. And I don't know. I might send these to Jaxi because it's too hot here for this, but I do have the yarn, and I know Jaxi wears this stuff. She wears hats, God bless her. She makes anything I've done a tutorial on, she's made it and figured it out, and she'll wear it on her channel. I made um, the oh, Breast Cancer Awareness. I made a pink hat with the ponytails. She made that, yeah, she's, she's a lot of fun. So what else do I have going on besides what I shared with you last night? Oh, one more. This, this was the beginning of Juan's, one of his tutorials, and I decided to just do the ribbing. So it looks really good. Like as an ear warmer, I had my hair braided in a ponytail. It looked cuter that way, but... Let me try the other way, see what it looks like. No, it's the same. See, one side's, one side's um, stretchier than the other. Isn't that weird? No, nothing's weird for me. But anyways, I thought this would be a cute ear warmer, you know? Or let's get physical, physical. <laughs> Yeah, Olivia Newton-John. I remembered her name. I had to think about it. But do you remember she used to wear those headbands? Yeah, so I did that. This is my Valentine's headband. And I used that Walmart mainstay, the pink yarn. I bought a bunch of it because I really like it. I'll use it again next year. And I might make a boggy blanket. I think I'm gonna make a boggy blanket and do some more squares in the pattern. <sighs> this pattern. Horse to date. Yeah, and this is coming along. I had to frog a couple of my squares. I forgot an entire row, but yeah, dummy. I think only on two, so. Yeah, let's see how long this video is. Yeah, it's getting long. Yeah, and there's more I have to, like lunchtime, I have to add in the kitchen to it. So, all right, I'm going to get off of here. I'll just make another video. So, uh, I'll see y'all later. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day.